All right, well, everyone looks to be doing fine over here. Y'all do see that who's out in the rain. Oh, Lord. Look who's just... Wake up. Wake it up. Get out of the rain. <laughs> Get out of the rain. Get out of the rain. Uh, <laughs> these fainting goats are so darn funny. Listen, so what happened right there is this. She backed up a little bit. The rain hit her, and that raindrop falling on her knocked her out. <laughs> just knocked her out for a minute and now you're all dirty sweetie now she's all dirty <laughs> i'm so sorry i don't mean to laugh y'all you don't want to laugh at them but uh, that rain was kind of cold and she walked she backed up and walked into it and it, the shot just sent her into a faint <gasps> hello handsome folks lester here and no i am not a race car driver even though this this gift this was a gift and i and i appreciate it i don't know what that even says rivers rivers uh this was a gift and thank you it's a warm and it's also waterproof and that's what you need on a day like today uh it's not cold cold but we did have a cold front come in last night so we have temperatures in the 40s and uh, guys, I am so darn excited. I'm gonna switch out of my tennis shoes and put on some boots here. Um, do some things around the sanctuary this morning. But uh, I'm working in the rain, which is, ah, a frog, a frog. Frog in my boot, there was a frog in my boot. There was a frog in my boot, no, oh, dumb, dumb, hold on. <sighs> Y'all give me a minute. <sighs> Sorry about that. Better to have a frog than a snake, I guess. But uh, I'm just getting here. That's not cool. Um, I'm hoping that none of these gifts, that goes to Brienne, that goes to Trixie. Oh, Trixie. And this goes to the pigs and Ringo. I'm hoping that the boxes kept everything from getting wet. Yesterday when Jamie, Jamie, this is Jamie, when Jamie picked up packages from the road, I didn't come over yesterday. She came over, she did not unload them. I don't know what this is. And see, you look, I'm already fogging up. I'm already fogging up. Let me drive this side by side around to the barn, have a look at these packages, and then I'll get right back with you. But now look. Oh man, this is gonna be sloppy. So what the gift for Ringo and the pigs Ringo and the Pigs from Teresa Yulenhank. We have some oatmeal. Teresa, thank you so very much. You know, uh, I played a video on Monday morning. Had some old videos of Pig Trudy that's just a baby. And it was, she's loved oatmeal her entire life. And you know what? She's Oatmeal is one of those things that we were told by the vet they can eat. They can eat. It's a good something they love and they can have. I just hate that it's so darn expensive. And it's going up in price. Oatmeal is not cheap, y'all. And so you're so kind to us. Good source of fiber, energy, grain, 100% from grains, no artificial flavors, no preservatives. And it's a healthy choice for your animals and for you. I only like it though. So hold on, this is funny. I'm embarrassed to admit that I only like oatmeal if it has brown sugar. <laughs> and uh, brown sugar and... Um, 
cinnamon. Cinnamon and brown sugar is my oatmeal. I just can't eat the regular unflavored oatmeal. But listen, the pigs love it. Ringo loves it. And you guys are just so darn good to them. So thank you so much for that. I'll make sure it's not wet. I was worried that it had gotten wet. The outer box is wet, but the inner boxes are nice and dry. And don't forget, they also have plastic inside there. So you can never have too much oatmeal. Actually, you can. We have had too much oatmeal a couple of times. But uh, thank you so much. Uh, we're so blessed. The animals are so blessed for stuff like that. All right, let's see what we have for Trixie. Come on, Trixie, you're next. Okay, so this next gift comes for Trixie. I'm gonna read the card. It says, with this dog seat cover, you can now eat your pup cup inside the truck and any messes can be easily cleaned up from Abby. Trixie, look, baby, it's a dog seat cover. And she sent us a dog seat cover for Trixie. And now she can have her pup cup and not make a big mess. Uh, that's really kind of you, Abby. Thank you so darn much. <laughs> that's awesome. Trixie, aren't you so excited, baby? Here, look, look, this is for you. It comes from Abby. Oh, Lord, she just wants to kiss. Hi, buddy. Look who the handsome boy is. Look who's a handsome boy. Yeah, today we're going to get all of our blankets out and start cleaning everything up. Guys, it's not time for winter blanket shit but we do have everything i have things put away some things are for rain some things are for cold and i'm just going to kind of go through everything and figure out what's what to make sure we have everybody's stuff ready for just in case because that time is coming do you like the blanket do you like it i need to know if you like it or not does it feel good on you yes does it fit you and you like it okay you want to keep it on for a little bit? I don't want it to get wet though. This is not a wet weather blanket. This is just a this is a cold weather blanket. Yes, you know that, but you're cold. You're cold right now, buddy. I didn't know you were so cold. So this over here is one of the cooler weather blankets. It's kind of a fleecy material, but it's not waterproof. So we're just testing them out right now to make sure that everything's going to be good. Now it may be reversible. This side over here, actually, I think I may have it on wrong. I might have it on. No, this is right. It might be reversible with the waterproof side and a warm weather side. I might should check that out. You just stay right over there, mister. You stay right. Oh, look at Rita. Rita, what? Is she falling asleep? Rita, are you falling asleep standing up, baby? I'm not trying to mess with you. I'm trying to see if Rita's okay. Hey, sweetie. Are you falling asleep? While you're standing, I see you like you're tired. Go ahead and stop it. Hi, baby. Hi, my sweetie. It looks like you're sleeping while you're standing. <laughs> Hi, baby. What are you thinking about, love? How, how are you enjoying being a horse? I've had better, I've had better days. And how are you enjoying being a horse? How are you enjoying being a horse, huh? I don't get much love today. So we're a little bit concerned about Rita because her, her coat is so thin. She's not like Bucky's and Voodoo or the donkeys. They all have very, very thick coats. And Rita's coat is not very thick. So I'm a little bit concerned about that. That's why I'm getting the blankets out. Now listen, it's only 40 degrees. I don't think a horse needs a blanket in 40 degrees. But as the temperatures get cooler, she will at some point need something. Uh, now she has a way to come out of the weather. You already know that. But um, I think on the nights where it drops below freezing, even though we may not put blankets on the other horses or the donkeys, I think that we might put one on Rita. And of course the rule to that is to take the blanket off as soon as the sun comes up the next day. So they wear them at night and then you can pull them off the next day. You don't want them to sweat in the blanket because if they sweat and then it gets cold again, then the, the sweat ends up making them even colder. So, baby, well, this is where we start having problems because now I got Trixie over here fighting. You can't come out, love. You cannot come out. I do love you, but we can't bring you out right now, okay? It's wet and it's raining, and I'm off to video the littles. Trixie, let's all be sweet. Corny, Corny, I just said let's all be sweet. Let's be sweet to daddy. I've... 
just come to say hi and bring some bring some stuff over corny guys i'm not kicking him i'm putting my boot out to stop him from all right thank you trixie look out adam don't let your troubles fester come watch longhorn lester <laughs> yeah something like that